Hey guys, welcome to the 141st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own DLL. And DLL is short for Dynamic Link Library. And basically what you do with a DLL is you put all of the namespaces that you've created inside of your DLL, and then you can give that DLL to someone else. And then they can access it, and they can add it to either their Visual Basic or C Sharp application. And then they can use all the namespaces inside of your DLL. So you should have classes in there, structs, or interfaces, or whatever. And an advantage to using a DLL is people won't be able to see your code, and they won't be able to edit your code. Also, it's much easier to transport than having to give people multiple class files. So in order to create your own DLL, you're just going to want to go up to New Project and select Class Library. And then you're just going to want to name it to anything you like. Um, I'm just going to call it my DLL, but you should probably name it something relevant to what your DLL uh, will actually have in it. And then once you're uh, satisfied with the name, just go ahead and click OK. All right, so as you can see here, we just have a new class file. And inside of our class file, we just have a namespace and a class. Now, if you're going to have multiple namespaces, uh, which I suggest you do if you're having a larger uh, project, uh, then just have one namespace, and then inside of that namespace, put the other namespaces that you're going to be using. So if you just say, like, my DLL, like the name of your project, and then inside of there, like, split it up into other namespaces. So if you want to have a namespace for clients, clients, and then inside of our client namespace, we just have, like, a class called the client, and then this just makes it much more organized. And inside of our client class right here, I'm just going to put um, a couple properties, one for the client's name and another for the client's age. And I'm just going to make it so um, whoever is using this class will be able to um, read and write these properties. Um, Alright, so once you have everything all set up, just go ahead and go up to save. And then you're just going to want to save your DLL um, and call it anything. I'm just going to call it my DLL for right now. And then click save. Once you've done that, just go up to debug, build the solution, and then start debugging. Mm -hmm. And you'll get an error, but that's okay. This will just create the DLL. All right, so once you've got everything set up and you debug and build, go over to another C Sharp application, right click on the references, and click add reference and then you should see your DLL in your folder. And in order to get to it, you're just gonna to wanna to go to Visual Studio 2010 folder, which should be in your documents, and go to Projects, your DLL, select your DLL folder, then go to Bin, then Debug, and inside of there, you should just see your DLL. And then just click OK, and it will add it to the references. You can see it's right there. So now, in order to use um, everything inside of our DLL, we're just going to want to go to the code of our application and say using and then the namespace that we called it. So it just be my DLL. And it should pop up right there. And now after it, since we have a namespace inside of my DLL, we can put a dot and we should see that clients right there. So now that we put dot clients, we should have access to this client class right here. Alright, so now we can just create a new client. C instead of equal to a new client. And then we can just say c dot name equals whatever, and yeah, you now have access to this client class. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on creating your own DLL. So see you guys.